everybody, Phil out here at Woods Tree Farm and finally the skies have cleared here in Central Virginia. So I'm going to get started on about the only thing that I can do when it is sopping wet and muddy out here. And that's work on a bridge that I've been planning on doing for a little while. So I've pulled the hay wagon up to the top of the hill because I'm not going to dare take my truck down on the bottom. It is wet down there and I know it'll get stuck. I'm not even going to try it. So I've stopped up here. I've got the lumber in the trailer. I'm going to transfer it to the hay wagon and before I take everything down the hill I'm going to uh, create some longer joists for the long runners of my bridge and uh, then when we get down the bottom I'll show you the site and what we're planning on doing out here. So stick around and watch how I plan on building a bridge over a creek here at Woods Tree Farm in Central Virginia. Here we go. All right, so to make these joists, I'm just going to uh, put an extra half of a 2x10 that I have here on top of the seam between the other 2x10s. I'm going to put a little construction adhesive over it, put in a bunch of screws, and hope that's good enough to create these joists. I know some of you will comment and say, no way, definitely not strong enough. Uh, but what I plan on doing, if this bridge looks like it's going to start to sag over time, is put some 4x4 posts in the ground in the middle and support it that way. But for now, I think I can just make it so that it goes straight across with these supported joists the way it is. So let's see how it goes. That was my first cut with this uh, little 20 volt quarter cable saw. This video is not sponsored by them. I just bought this with my own money. And if it keeps cutting like that, I'll be happy. All right, I'm gonna make the assumption that the decking on the trailer is pretty straight. So I'm lining up my joist along one of these deck boards. And I'm gonna put this one on top, some construction adhesive.
one down. That's two. With the joist done, I'm just going to gather up my tools, take all the wood out of this trailer, put it on this trailer, and take it down the hill where we're building the bridge. Well, this is the area where we want the bridge built and I was planning on a four foot wide bridge somewhere along this section. I'm probably going to have to take some trees out. Unless, oh no, this is where I'm planning. So right across here, not taking trees out. That's my plan. We're going right across here. This is high. Higher than it's been. I used to be able to just hop over this. The last time we were here when we measured how long we wanted this bridge to be, I just hopped right over it. And now it's seven or eight feet wide. We've gotten a lot of rain and the pond's high. First thing I'm going to do is set up some string and see how level these two sides are. I'm going to double check my measurements for the uh, 16 foot distance. And then if everything looks good without any additional sight work, bring in my joists and start setting it up. Uh, I do anticipate there's going to be a little bit of site work. I've got plenty of fill dirt I can bring in here to try to level this out a little bit. I've got uh, some 4x4s and some cinder blocks I can use on one side or the other as needed. So that's my plan for now. Uh, so let me get the strings out and we'll double check everything for level. There we go. Forgot my hammer at the top of the hill, but the ground is so soft I don't need it. That worked out. Wow, that was pretty good eyeballing. I'm off by an inch in length. So I can easily eyeball where the bridge is going to be now. Uh, now I'm just going to set up a string and try to figure out how much higher that other side is than this side.
All right, this is surprising. If I pulled the camera up to show you here. Can you see the bubble? Man, as far as uh, farm bridge work goes, I'm gonna put that in the close enough category, which really surprises me. Uh, I still got a lot of organic stuff over here, sticks and leaves and stuff, and it's a little swampy. So I'm gonna bring a bucket load of dirt over on this side. The other side is a lot more roots and it's a little steeper. So I'm gonna leave it as is. Uh, I'm just gonna put one bucket load of dirt on this side and then we can start building.
Okay, well that is our nearly finished bridge. The only thing I'm gonna do another day is take the saw right down the edge and straighten out all these boards. And I'll do that on the other side as well. And then we're gonna take this tree out where we ended up positioning it. Uh, it was right up against this tree. Obviously this tree's gonna grow and it's gonna push that bridge. And also I couldn't get my deck boards there to the very edge where I wanted them. So this little maple's gonna come out. I'm gonna do that on another day. Uh, but you can get the idea. It's a four foot wide foot bridge that is plenty strong. And unless it sags over time, I don't think it's going to need any kind of bracing. Once things dry out, I will bring in some more fill dirt. I'll make a nice ramp up on both sides. And then this will be completely finished. That's a great little foot bridge. And this is going to make a whole section of our property accessible that hasn't been accessible all this season because it's been so wet. So that takes us over there to what we call the hidden field. There's a little bit of high ground over there. And then this pine grove right here is also now accessible. And my plan is to set, uh, make, cut a trail over there through the pine grove and on over to the field on the other side, which is over that way. All right, well, thanks for watching. As always, appreciate your time that you take watching us here. 
nothing too crazy with this bridge pretty straightforward build if you like our videos if you like uh, building you like farm work you like tractor work I think you like our channel so please subscribe hit that red subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell icon as well so that you can get notified of future videos today that's it we're I'm gonna go up to the top of the hill join the family and we're gonna have a little picnic dinner here at sundown so better hurry before it gets dark thanks for watching see ya